Welcome to another edition of ProSoft Technology Video Training. Today we'll go through the process of using a ProSoft Technology ICX35 Industrial Wireless Gateway to allow an Allen Bradley Micro 800 controller to send and receive SMS messages. This video is intended as a supplement for our other videos available for the ICX35 that go over how to perform the basic setup and configuration, and how to use some of the more advanced features. If you're not familiar with the basic setup of the ICX35, it's recommended that you watch those videos first. In this video, we'll use a sample project file for Rockwell Connected Components Workbench software. It contains all the tags that we'll need to send and receive the SMS messages. A link to download the project file will be in the description. Before we begin, I'll list the requirements for the configuration. You will need an ICX35 wireless gateway with firmware version 1.2.2 or higher an Allen Bradley Micro 800 controller with Ethernet IP capability, which would be either the Micro 820 or the Micro 850, a licensed version of the CCW software installed on your machine, and finally the ICX35 SMS Sample CCW Project version 1.7. The sample project is distributed as a CCWARC file. And once you've downloaded it, you can import it into a new CCW project. When you go to the import menu and select the file, the import wizard will prompt you to create a new project file directory for the newly imported project. Feel free to give it whatever name you want. Once you've opened the project, you'll see that there are two programs. It's important not to alter the logic for these two programs. All operations on the ICX35 module are contained in the main program, which also holds all the ICX35 operational tags, which can be altered by the end user. This includes the module's IP address tag, where you would enter the IP address of your ICX35 gateway. Also included are structural tags that serve for the functions of the ICX35, including sending and receiving SMS messages. And we can also access status data of the ICX35 itself here. And you'll notice that all the tags in the project file have descriptions to identify what they are. Again, for the tags that are described as control variables, it's very important not to change them. Now, if you have an existing CCW program that you would like to add this functionality with the ICX35 to, you can simply copy and paste the ICX35 project file into your existing logic. An easy way to do this is to just copy each of the two programs and paste them into the programs folder of your project file. This makes it easier to integrate the module's functionality into your current system. Just be sure that you do copy over both programs and that you have all the tags necessary for the normal operation of the i635 gateway. This includes the global variables. The names of all the necessary tags are prefixed with ICX35. As previously mentioned, the ICX35 underscore IP address tag is where you enter the IP address for your ICX35 gateway. And note that it must be in the format of a four comma followed by the gateway's IP address. The next tag that we'll look at is the ICX35 underscore status tag. If we expand this, there is a tag that corresponds to the number of SMS messages sent from the module and another that represents the number of SMS messages received by the module. There's also a buffer count tag which will let you know how much buffer space is available for the gateway to receive more messages. And now we come to the ICX35 send message and received message tags. And these are where you actually enter the text that you want to send as an SMS message and where you can see the text for messages that you've received. So let's send a message. We'll expand the send message tag and we'll first need to enter the phone number that we want to send the message to. Next, enter the text message that you want to send out. Then we'll enter the number of phones that you want to send the message to. And for this version of the sample project, you can send the same message to up to three phones simultaneously. 
And finally, the message character length, including spaces and punctuation. Once all that is entered, the message will be sent after triggering a high signal on the send SMS trigger Boolean tag. So I'll do that now. Once the message goes out and is received by the recipient, they can immediately reply to the message. And the reply will show up in our received message tags. And in addition, we can also look at the status tags to see that the message's sent counter has gone up, as well as the message's received counter once we get the reply. Something to note, as messages are received by the ICX-35, it does not simply send them on to the controller. They're actually stored in a buffer on the gateway. So to get the reply messages in the tags, we must send a high signal to the received message trigger Boolean tag. And this will send an instruction to the ICX-35 to write the content of the SMS messages received, as well as the corresponding phone numbers, to our Micro 800 controller. And we'll then be able to see them in the message received tag. That is how you can use a ProSoft Technology ICX-35 wireless gateway and this sample project to send and receive text messages from a Micro 800 controller. If you have any questions or would like more information about the ICX-35 industrial wireless gateway, you can click on the link in the description to go to its product page or feel free to contact our technical support. Happy training!